In this video we are going to look at how we can use the Access Companion software to remotely access and configure our own ACAP applications uh, which are running our web interface in the Access cameras. So first off to onboard our cameras in the Companion application we need to be on the same network as the cameras. So by using IT utility application from Axis, we can see that we have three different cameras on this specific network that we are located on. So I'm going to start the Axis companion application, and this can be freely downloaded from the Axis website. So we need to start with selecting the site that we should use. And here we will see that I already have one camera that is onboarded. So we can see the live view from that camera here. So go into the configuration tab, we can choose to add new devices. And we will find the two other cameras that has not yet been onboarded. I'm going to enter the password, the root password to unlock this device. And I'm going to select this M4308 camera to onboard into the companion uh, system. So what it does now is that it uh, installs an ACAP application in the camera, the Axis um, Connect um, application, which is responsible for connecting the camera to the Axis cloud. And that allows us to access the camera configuration and the camera live stream and recordings, regardless of where the camera is, uh, on which network the camera is located, as long as it has an internet connection. And this would, will also allow us to access the camera's um, applications, web interfaces, uh, using the same means as we will see soon. And apart from that, it will also make some hardening of the device. Um, so it will change some parameters to make sure that the device is um, configured in a secure way. So this might take a few minutes. So we can now see that the device has been added to the companion software. And this means that we can now close this companion application and I'm going to switch network to another network where we cannot directly access the camera from. So once again, we can open the IT utility just to verify that we can no longer see the cameras since they are located on another network. But opening the Access Companion application again, we will see that we still have access to the cameras that has been onboarded, since this goes through the Access Connect Cloud. And here we can see the two devices, where this is the device that we just onboarded. So we can go to the configuration page, and here we can do configuration on the cameras remotely. So one thing that we can do is that we can make sure that the firmware are upgraded, and if we have a camera that is not running the latest firmware, we can easily upgrade it remotely. But we can also change uh, device settings and uh, um, control it in other ways using this um, interface. But what is most of interest to us for ACAP development is that we can go to the advanced setting, which will open the embedded web browser 
which will basically proxy the camera's web interface to the connect application over the internet. So the first time we do this, it will install a new application on the camera, the WebRTC application, which is responsible for doing the actual tunneling of the um, front end to the um, embedded browser. So the first time we do, do this for each camera, it will take a minute or so to install and configure the application. Now it has completed and we can press finish to go to the embedded browser. And once this is um, set up, we will see that the interface here looks exactly the same as if we were going to the camera directly um, from a local um, network using the browser. So here we can see the live view again, but more importantly, we have the applications tab. So we can see what applications are installed. And here we can see the Access Connect deployment agent, which is responsible for connecting the camera to the Access Connect cloud and the Access WebRTC, which is browse, which is tunneling the, um, the front end from the camera to the Connect cloud so we can access it here. But we can, of course, also install new applications. So I'm going to install this sample application, which um, contains a web interface by using the monkey web server, which is then reverse proxied to the Apache web server in the camera. So when this application has been installed, we can of course start and stop it from this interface too. And we can also see the application log messages. But if the application is exposing a web uh, interface with its own web server, and we have configured it to um, display the button here, we can easily press that and come to the, um, to the ACAP application's own web interface, where we can do um, any configuration of the application and we can show our um, status messages from the application. So this is the way to communicate with um, with the uh, Access ACAP applications remotely. Um, and this will work for most web applications, uh, especially the simpler ones. Um, for some more advanced applic web applications where we're using ED web sockets to communicate between the front end and back end, we will see that this does not work as expected when running over the Access Companion. And this is since we are tunneling the traffic um, through the um, through the Access Cloud. Um, so you need to be aware of that if using more complex um, web applications in your ACAP. Other ways to um, manage the camera's uh, ACAP applications are through the Access Device Manager, which is an on-prem solution and does not offer remote access. But there is a, also Access Device Manager Extended, which does offer remote configuration of cameras, just like the Access Companion software, but it is directed towards much larger installations than the Access Companion software.